Welcome to Agoracom Small Cap Stock News for Thursday, May the 15th, 2014. I'm your host, Alan Barry Labucan. I'm also the chief market commentator for Agoracom. Uh, every morning I go through a bunch of press releases, find the best ones that stand out to me. I uh, discuss what it was about their news that stood out. And uh, I also give you my insights into uh, what I see in the uh, what I see in their stock charts as well. Uh, every day the or the news show is generally about 10 minutes long. Uh, we have four companies today, so we're not going to have any problems with the time frame. Uh, the first company that I wanted to talk about today is Luna Gold. Luna Gold. Um, did something that not a lot of gold producers are doing this uh, these days is they uh, put out their quarterly Q1 2014 uh, uh, quarterly report and they came up with a uh, 7.5 million dollars in earnings uh, these days uh, a lot because of the uh, lower price of gold um, a lot of companies are coming in with losses um, and uh, these guys are uh, are, are producing their gold at around an all-in cost of $921 uh, per ounce. So there's a healthy margin in there for them. Uh, and um, uh, they've got uh, cash balances growing. They're, they've got ounces of gold in the uh, that still remain to be uh, sold. And they're, they're in a, a good ca uh, they've got a good cash working capital. A uh, company's in good shape uh, for a small producer uh, that's growing. Um, you know, I like what I see there. Luna's stock today is up two cents on 81,000 shares traded hands, uh, last at a dollar nine per share. Uh, and uh, just looking at the stock chart, they've been under kind of sleepy sort of stock, uh, so, but in fairly narrow trading range over the last year. Uh, they are trading near the uh, bottom end of that trading range. So uh, these are the kinds of stocks that I, I tend to take a close look at and uh, we'll be uh, considering this one for the best of the best in in weekly uh, news show or best of the best stock picks of the week show later uh, this week. LGC is their stock symbol and they trade on the uh, Toronto Exchange. Next up is uh, B. Uh, sorry, BSM Technologies. Uh, BSM Technologies uh, had their uh, uh, latest quarterly earnings out, and uh, in the quarter they they had uh, some good numbers in there. They had earnings of three hundred and four thousand uh, dollars. That's Canadian dollars. Um, the gro revenue is growing by forty four percent. They had. Uh, Almost a million in uh, earnings before uh, EBITDA earnings, um, and uh, their uh, working capital has increased from 22 million to 31 million. So they're in a strong financial position. And uh, then they also announced today that they've acquired Latlon LLC and JMM Management Group. Um, these uh, so that's a new acquisition as as well, uh, and uh, you can find all the details in their uh, in the in the press release on those two press release or the details in those two press releases. Lots of good information there. Stocks down seven cents today on two hundred and four thousand shares traded hands. Last at two dollars and sixty three cents. Um, this one was a very strong performer from. Uh, uh, back uh, about a year ago, they were trading at a dollar fifty. They moved all the way up to three sixty within about seven or eight months. They've given back some of those gains, but lately they've been creating sort of a perfect uh, cup type formation in their stock chart. And I don't think the right side of that cup has finished its formation yet, uh, so it still has some ways to go before it goes side. You know, go, creates a handle. But this is a very bullish pattern. I like this one a lot. Uh, I think I'll be talking about this one on tomorrow's uh, best, uh, the best stock picks of the week show. 
GPS is their stock symbol. They trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is, oh, forgot to turn the phone off before I started the show. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, the uh, next company up is uh, Micro, Micro Box, Microbix. Uh, and uh, Microbix had um, uh, their quarterly earnings out. And uh, they had some good numbers in there. Um, they uh, they had a growth in uh, revenue, uh, some good uh, across the board, good good numbers. Um, they're uh, spending a fair amount of money on their R and D. Expenses have gone up um, or have come down, uh, which is always a good sign. Uh, they've got a fair amount of uh, cash. Uh, total revenue is looking pretty good. Yeah, it's all in the uh, press release. You can take a look at that. Uh, that um, they're uh, they're also in some early stages of uh, progressing of technical program to construct LumaSoft instrument names to have a demonstration platform available later in the year. So they've got a quite a detailed uh, uh, press release there. You want to take a look at that. Uh, the stock is last at 39 on 10,000 shares traded hands and uh, just taking a look at the stock or last at 39 cents taking a look at the stock chart and um, this one had a real big move from the December lows and then it uh, gave back some of those gains been going sideways in a very narrow trading range um, this one uh, it, 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 I don't have the confidence right here to make any kind of call on the stock breaking out to the upside but I'll definitely have this one on my uh, watch list the uh, uh, MBX is their stock symbol they trade on Toronto and the uh, last company up today is Yang oh uh, Yang 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 uh, resources and Yang resources announced that they've closed a $27.5 million bot deal financing. I always pay attention when these small companies get these uh, bot deal financings. It's a really good sign uh, that the, uh, that the, 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 those that uh, follow the stock have done a lot of homework on it. This is an oil and gas producer and uh, I, I, I like when I see these big checks being done on a bot deal kind of financing. Yangara is a company that I've talked about in the past, uh, a good one to take a look at. Their stock is down two cents today on 1.2 million shares, lasted a dollar twelve. Just taking a look at the stock chart, and um, this one's been on a very good move for the last year. Sort of your classic bullish trend: higher highs, higher lows. Uh, I like this one a lot. I picked it in the past; it's done very good as a pick. Um, YGR is their stock symbol. They trade on the Venture Exchange. So that's a wrap on the news for today. Before making any investment decisions, it's important for you to do your homework and speak with your financial advisors. Um, and uh, join us for our, very, our, our news show uh, Tuesday through Thursday on the front page of Agoracom. Right, uh, you'll see a video player there. Uh, and also uh, you can find our work on uh, blog.agoracom.com and on my website at allenberryreports.com as well. On that note, you have a great day and we will talk to you soon.